Today we are out here highlighting the Kaimeta Highway Terminal and our partnership with Kaimeta and iDirect. We see a lot of synergies for comms on the move technology and we're very excited to be able to collaborate with Kaimeta to bring this antenna to market. One of the things you'll notice is it's got a very low profile, similar to other flat panel antennas, but this one is based off metamaterials and is creating a new and innovative way to provide connectivity to the market. You can see here that we have the iDirect X7 modem and we have the Kymeta I.O. box tucked away. We have a spectrum analyzer. Everything's wired into a cradle point, which will allow you to carry data over LTE or satellite. Uh, today, we're, we're going only over satellite just to show the capability of the Kymeta antenna. Coming up and approaching the Capitol building here, you can see on the uh, chart here which way the satellite's facing right now. Down here on the spectrum analyzer, you can see we have a strong signal currently in place to go around the circle here. We have a little bit of blockage by these trees. The uh, spectrum analyzer shows the blockage. As soon as we clear that, it comes right back in. Signal's back on. And as we complete almost a full 360 degree turn around this, the satellite, you know, we're locked on the satellite. The signal is straight. We're gonna go back straight here. You're seeing a lower cost being brought to market compared to a lot of other flat panel antennas that have been out there. And this one is completely electronically steered. So you're not looking at any moving parts. You're not looking at anything that is going to add extra expense. It creates a more reliable solution in the market. When you're out in the field and you're trying to get this deployed, and you're trying to put this onto a vessel, you really want the size, weight, form factor that fits, uh, fits the application you're trying to serve. The great applications are being used today. You are seeing it being used in maritime. We're seeing it being used on buses. We're seeing it being used on trains and opening up some new markets that previously weren't able to take advantage of satellite connectivity.